السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of Marqas Sahaba the voice of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah we present to you lesson number 2456 of our daily nasiha and advice today we focus on the 21st of Muharram so Asma bint Yazid radiallahu ta'ala anha, she is a sahabiya radiallahu anha, she states, Annaha samiyat Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, she heard the master Habibuna sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Ala unabbi'ukum bi khiyarikum, must I not inform you of the best of you, who will be the best of you, meaning the awliyaullah and real pious people, qalu bala, so the Sahaba said, Why not, Ya Rasulullah? Please do inform us. Call Habibuna Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Khiyarukum alladheena idha ru'u. That the best of you are those when you are looked at, meaning people look at that person, Zukir Allah Ta'ala Azza wa Jal. They remember all Mighty Allah Jalla Wala. When they look at that person's salat, or they look at that person's fasting, or they look at that person's business, they look at his private life, public life, they look at his character, his manners. So across the board, not only in one aspect, that is the huge mistake me and you are making today. Remember, deen of Islam is complete and comprehensive. And all might Allah speaks of this in the noble Quran. Allah, behold, inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun. That verily the friends of all might Allah jalla wa la are those that la khawfun alayhim. There's no fear for them in the future. There's no sadness for them and grief for them in the past. Who are they? Alladheena amanu wa kanu yattakun. They have the true iman and they have the quality of true taqwa, true piety, all times, all places. They fulfill the rights of creator and creation simultaneously. In today's world, when people are very good with their salat and fasting zakat, then many a time we find some people that how they treat their wives or children or neighbors or employees is very poor. Or you see the other side, that when people are very good with their wives, children, or employees and workers and so forth, but then they must sing salat, they don't worry too much about zakat or fasting, and that's also kind of unacceptable. So Islam says, Hukukullah, Hukukul Ibad, Ma'an. You must fulfill the rights of creator, creation simultaneously. That is the true taqwa and piety. Then for them, Lawmul Bushra, that in this world in the year after they will have the glad tidings in them and you mustn't worry about people people will always find the truth unpalatable unacceptable various verses if you look in the Quran Sharif said their speech should not grieve you sadden you innal izzata lillahi jami'a power, honor, dignity, everything is only vested by all Allah, not by people. How many a time people want to cause a person harm and then they are the ones who get disgrace. وَمَيْ يُهِنِ اللَّهُ فَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ مُكْرِمْ And whosoever all Allah Jalla Wala humiliates and disgraces, then there's none to give them honor. So they think they got honor, but remember Allah disgraces them. You see people close masjid. So what Quran says? Lahum fi dunya khidhiu wa lahum fi al-akhirati adabun azim. For them is disgrace in this worldly life. And we can see in South Africa, other parts of the world. And the year after is even worse. Will be a horrible, terrible, grievous punishment. Allah Jalla Wala protect us and envelop us in His special mercy. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.